the hours are long here and you may think your work is inconsequential but without your help we can't do our work so I want to thank you for joining us. Dr. Reed is going to hand out your assignments and I want to see you first thing in the morning. Are we clear? Okay, so let's get real. I was you two years ago. I thought I was the smartest kid in the room and I tried to prove it. I had to learn the hard way that doesn't play well here. Do your job well and we'll notice. Anything different is a waste of our time and your energy. Here's your new assignments. Not interested in whether or not you think it's the job of your dream, so don't come complaining to us. We don't care. Dr. Reed, after we finish all of this, can we work on our own projects? Uh, what's your name? Raj Patel. Is English your first language? No, but I went to a British high school. So I assume you understood everything I just said. Yes, but you didn't say anything about our research. That's because you're not here to work on your research. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. Dr. Reed, I cleaned the rat cages and did the inventory. Yeah, and? I was wondering if I could talk to you about an idea I have? Did you empty the biohazard bins? No, you didn't ask me to. I shouldn't have to ask. You don't have to sit by yourself, you know. I don't like gossip, and I have work to do. Do you ever stop? When I sleep. Good to know. I was beginning to think you were an alien. But I am an alien. <laughs> Not that kind of alien. So, what's it like there? Pretty much the same as here. Then why'd you come? The research opportunities. Drums the man. He never thought he would take me, but when he did, I couldn't believe my luck. But you must have known that the odds that you'll get to work with him directly are close to zero. And if I stayed in India, it would have been zero. True. I don't mean to be rude, but my break is over in 15 minutes and I have some calculations to finish up, so... Oh. Sure. Sorry. That guy is seriously a prick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Try sharing a room with Dr. Fun. At least you got a tutor whenever you need one. Seriously? You, you think I'd ask him for a favor? Why not? Because he'd probably ignore me or give me the wrong answers just so we can eliminate competition. He's not that bad. Sure. Okay. Ah, Raju. How are you doing? I miss you, Mom. I miss you too, son. How are your studies going? Classes are great. And my lab supervisor has already assigned me several important duties. That is wonderful, Raju. So, what are you doing? It's complicated. You wouldn't understand. So, you're impressing them? <clears throat> yes. I am working on it. I'm glad. I was so worried that it would be hard for you to fit in there. Oh, no need to worry. Everything is fine. Uh, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Love you. Love you too, son. Bye. That was my mother. Have a little respect. I'm sorry, man. It's just, you spent this entire week trying to get Eric to give you 10 minutes and getting shut down. <laughs> like, fitting in. Man, you're so far right, you might as well be back in India, man. I've encountered people like him before. 
They always think that they are more clever than they are. I just spoke to the editors, Eric. They still don't think your data is strong enough. Fuck. What am I going to do? Well, they want to see a Folger analysis. I don't know the program. I do. You're Patel, right? Yes, sir. Raj. Did that happen here? Uh, no, sir. I was trying to catch a bus and then no, they... I, I don't want to hear detail. So, it looks like you've got yourself a tutor. Give me the new data, I'll look it over, and then you can resubmit, all right? Congratulations, Mr. Patel. It seems you're way ahead of the rest of the graduate students. Well, seeing as that you're so far ahead of me, why don't you try running the data analysis yourself? Have it on my desk tomorrow morning. And it better be right. It will be perfect. Jesus, you'd think a research facility could come up with better coffee than this. I told HR to give us more funding, but they keep giving it to... Mm. Eric, here's your data. What data? Instead of wasting valuable time, I ran the data myself last night. Let me see that. You did this? Yes. This is perfect. the data you were supposed to do. Great. Excuse me. Professor Drum. Yes, Mr. Patel. I have an idea for a line of inquiry. Could I use some of the specimens? You don't normally let graduate students do their own research, but your work has shown some promise, so I'll tell you what. Put a proposal on my desk and I'll give it serious consideration. We should stain this. Eric, where's the stain? Patel? Get us some stain. Patel, what's going on? Aren't you in charge of supplies? Yes, sir. I checked them yesterday. We had plenty of stain. Well, it's quite clear we don't. You'd better get your act together, Mr. Patel. Eric, call me when you get this sorted out. <sighs> Tina, I need someone with organizational skills to handle the supply closet. Take over for Patel. on the shelves last night. So it just grew legs and walked out. I don't know. It was there when I did the inventory. Look, Raj, just admit you made a mistake, man. It's not the end of the world. I'm not embarrassed to admit when I do something wrong, but I know what I saw. Yeah, well, maybe you've been pulling too many all-nighters, man, because you didn't see what you saw. Well, somebody took it? It's stain, Raj, not diamonds. Nobody's going to just break in and steal our stain, man. And it's whoever did this wants people to think. You leave it? Yes. I don't have all day, Mr. Reed. There's something strange about this batch, Dr. Drum. I think it's contaminated. Let me see that. Mm, you're right. This is worthless. Let me guess. Patel. You're costing us time. 
and that's a commodity we don't have very much of. Maybe this lab isn't a good fit for you. But, sir, I did everything right. This is the perfect fit, and working under you is what I've dreamed about for years. Perhaps that's the problem, Mr. Patel. You're dreaming instead of working. It won't happen again, sir. I promise. Mm-hmm. But mom, I haven't done anything. It is this man, Eric, it is jealous of me. Pita, you're a good boy with a good heart. But you must learn how to get along with people. It's not my fault. I do my work and keep to myself. Perhaps that is the problem. A little bit less work and a little more time with others would show people your heart. Are you telling me to abandon my studies? No, Pita. I'm asking you to let people see this boy that I love. Hmm? I hear you, Mom. I will try. That's the good boy. Love you, son. Yes. Professor Drum? I've given it great thought to who could be doing these things, and I have come to the conclusion there's only one person who would benefit. So you interrupt my work to justify your negligence? No, sir. I would never do such a thing. I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, just do your job, and we won't have all these problems around here. But, sir, Eric is trying to... Eric? Are you telling me that your supervisor is sabotaging his own work as well as mine? That is the only logical explanation. Why would he do such a thing? To drive me out? <laughs> Mr. Patel. <laughs> that, that's rich. Let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of the phrase, skating on thin ice? Because that's what you're doing. Now I want you to take your ugly accusations and get out of this office before I throw you out of my program. Good day, Mr. Patel. You're making it impossible to study. It's Friday night. You're right. I'm sorry. Was, was that an apology? You okay? No. If I lose my job at the lab, then I'll have to go home. Oh, man. That would suck. It would break my mother's heart. She has made so many sacrifices to help me get here, and... I, I mean, well, you know, you just gotta... Pay a little bit more attention to what you're doing, man. It's... No. I am telling you, I am not doing these things. Okay. All right. I hear you. So, if somebody's out to get you, you just got to figure out how to get them first. Do you have any suggestions? This out. That is so rude. <laughs> who would do such a thing? Ah, uh, you know, a bunch of horny kids who can't get any. <laughs> but it could be the answer to your problem. Oh, think about it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what I'm here for. This one's fine. Next. These are dead. What's going on? Patel was supposed to freeze them. Where is he? Cleaning cages. Go get him. Thank you.
to tell. When I invited you to join this project, I thought you had promise. But clearly I'm mistaken. I can't have someone like you on this project. You're gone now. Three strikes and you're out. Perhaps not. Professor Drum? I can prove that all of these problems are not my fault. I just want to know one thing. Am I really that much of a threat? It's not what you think. Then what is it? The, uh... You're never at a loss for words, Doctor. Come on, out with it. I have nothing to say. <laughs> I think the university is going to have plenty to say. Your delays have cost us a fortune. I understand. But for now, get the hell out of my lab. Now! Wait. I want to thank you. For what? You taught me something very important. What? To get a life. Fuck you! Well, Mr. Patel, I know you said you were way ahead of the rest of your classmates. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your proposal for your research project on my desk first thing in the morning. Professor Drum, with all due respect, tomorrow's the weekend and I'm going out. Mr. So Patel, if you want my help... Um, it will be on your desk first thing Monday morning. All right. I look forward to seeing you. Have a nice night, Mr. Patel. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> I am going to need help on a research project. Look, I'm saying this in the most friendly way possible, man. Just because he's reading your proposal doesn't mean he's going to accept it. I've seen postdocs leave his office in tears after proposal reviews. It's not that kind of research project. Then what kind of project is it? I have decided to celebrate my victory by taking my first drink. <laughs> and I will need expert assistance to take that first drink. Oh, okay. Oh, are you paying for it? The first round? Oh, well, then you've come to the right experts. <laughs> <laughs>